Hi guys, what's up? Cybervisor here. Welcome to the DIY installation guide on how to install your buttons or profile menus in your Dementor profile page. For example, I have my page here open and you can see these are the profile menu or button that you can install in your page to link or to provide links to certain things. Uh, you can see also a menu that I have designed for myself. This is an accordion menu uh, which is basically a journal scheme. These are basically all journal schemes designed specifically to act as a profile menu in your page. So this guide or this tutorial is to teach you how to install these buttons in your page, in your DeviantArt page. So as I have said before, this is a journal skin and this has to be installed as a regular journal and I'll teach you in a while how but before that let me tell you that this buttons that you see here uh, are basically identical what you see uh, in different pages for example that I have here in customizedevent.com if you go to resources you'll find there are various buttons that you can customize and install in a page for example if you open this and here you can see the preview this you can install in your page similarly the way that I have installed here previously there was no video tutorial on how to do this but the steps involved in installing these uh, buttons in your page is identical it's the same you can if you know how to install one you can install any of these any of this so the procedure is same so I'll just show you one example of how to install a profile menu in a page and get it working so let's let's get started if you see here uh, this one if I go to this deviation this has a deviation link to the menu that I've uploaded as a premium content so if you open this now you'll see the purchase option to download the files after you download you'll get a zip file which is the dot rar file uh, that has got all the necessary course and instructions to to be followed uh, to install it but I'm going to repeat the same thing however the thing is this was all in text as you all know uh, but uh, for a few people it is still difficult to read and understand the steps and actually apply it so I'm making this tutorial for all of you which will I hope is going to make uh, things a lot easier um, okay so let's let's begin let's begin how to install uh, these profile menus in your Deventart page so let's let's begin with uh, taking an example for example this one button arrow slide uh, I, I'm showing this because this will help me uh, in turn to uh, to show you how the thing works in my website and how you can just get the codes ready-made codes without having any knowledge of coding and you can just apply it in your page so uh, to do this let me just open this link and here I am presented to the page that I have to make your own uh, buttons you can customize all sort of things you can see uh, button border size whatever whatever uh, but before that let me just take you through the steps that we are going to follow and uh, we can then uh, generate the codes and I'll show you an example how to do this so here to do this first you need to create your own menus or buttons uh, for our example we are going to use this to generate the codes here and for those 
who are uh, downloading uh, profile menus that are provided as a zip file is the same procedure you just have to download you'll have a CSS code and you'll also have an HTML code okay so first you need to create your own menus uh, or buttons then get the codes to install in your page upload the profile menu and create a new skin submit the profile menu to use and finally you need to upload it uh, to your devin dot page so let's let's create uh, let's follow the first step and create our own menu a button here uh, this is already created I can just uh, use my uh, uh, purchase key to generate the codes display the codes here however I just uh, show you quickly how you can customize these buttons to your need for example uh, I can just increase or decrease the button uh, border that I have here I can make it thicker I can make it way thicker so let me just keep it a little bit simple and this looks fine to me the padding I want to decrease it a little bit this so it is a decrease oh by the way you can just click this option here to display the restriction space I forgot to tell you this earlier for every profile menu that you upload in your page it has got a certain area that it can display after which it will get cut off or or in other words it will get hidden so having this checked this this option checked will show you in the preview box how to uh, how to keep the things between uh, this space so that it doesn't get cut off when you uh, actually upload it in your page so okay uh, this is fine top margin top margin these are all self explanatory you can just play around whatever you want I want if I want to just decrease the uh, border radius you can see the radius has been decreased it will become more of a rectangular shape font size uh, letter spacing uh, arrow style I can create a uh, regular no arrow style or if I don't want to include any arrow I will just click this button there will be no arrow so let us keep an arrow here uh, just to make this cooler uh, let me change the background color to something uh, else okay this one looks quite cool but I'll go with some other color maybe uh, purple no uh, a lighter purple maybe okay this one looks cool to me um, uh, let's 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 change the font I can just check uh, which font do I want if I want to use a web safe font this is a font that uh, is safe to use across all the browsers or uh, what you can do you can use Google fonts also here when you click it it, it doesn't load all the Google font at once because if I load it when the page is loading it will take a lot of time for it to uh, uh, for it to load in the page so I've just restricted it so that you can just load all the Google fonts later on however the problem is when you click this button it's going to load about 600 plus fonts in this area and this area when it gets filled up with all the Google font it basically will call Google to give you all the font list and list it here and that is going to take a little bit of time the browser might uh, freeze for some time so I have uh, put a small notification thing here you can see so for now uh, I'm not clicking this I don't want to change this I'll just change it to uh, a web safe font maybe Tahoma Tahoma is cool um, text color is okay with me uh, maybe text hover color I'll change it to something else maybe a uh, lighter yellow okay animation speed yes this is quite cool if you want to change the background 
color speed to be slower see the background is going to come up slow the animation is going to be slower if I want the font not the font I want to change the border hover color to a little bit higher let's say 0.8 second so the border color is going to change quite slowly you can just play around and make whatever choice you want to make for your own uh, buttons you can create infinite number of uh, combinations here so when you have done all your uh, customization all your buttons you can just go to purchase here the code can be purchased from this uh, link uh, when you purchase the code you'll get the key to enter here and when you uh, click purchase now you'll get all the codes for the widget for the CSS for the HTML uh, the widget code is only required when you want to have a background let's uh, untick this so that we clear the background here for the uh, image and I'll just show you a demo example for the background that I have let's let's go to my stash I'll go to my stash here and I've already uploaded a background which I would like to use in my uh, widget like for example this one this is the same background that I have so I'm going to use that I'm going to right click it click copy image location this option is going to vary from browser to browser since I'm using uh, Firefox for this example it is showing as copy image location however if you use Chrome or Internet Explorer or any other uh, browser for that matter it is going to give you a different option but it would say something similar uh, in uh, Chrome I believe it says copy image URL or something like that so anyway I'm just going to select this uh, click this option to copy the location I want the image location for this which is there in the stash I want to use it I'll paste it here you can see this is the link dot jpg update so right now you can see it has been updated and it will look something similar like this this is this is quite good I, I believe this is quite good so let's let's go ahead and purchase the code I have my key already so I'll just use my key to get the codes here okay I've got my code I'm going to enter it here I'm going to purchase now as soon as I click purchase it will give you an uh, confirmation that uh, you have purchased the product and here if you make any changes now for example if I if I change this uh, button text to say my menu and say uh, YouTube channel whatever you want to give you can change the URL for each of these menus so that whenever they click it will go to that URL URL is nothing but the link that is destination link of your page so you can just change it but after you make any changes you just have to update it once again by, put, by clicking on purchase now so once I click purchase now this code is going to get updated after the recent changes that I've made so in this section you'll see uh, for, for any profile menu uh, regardless you should have two set of codes at least one is the CSS code second is the HTML code widget code is only used to uh, insert the background or change the background for your widget so here I have my widget code but we'll come to this later on we are mainly interested in the CSS and the HTML code as of now uh, I'm going to blur this code after I make the tutorial so that it's not visible but uh, you get the idea so let's 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 
go ahead and uh, install our profile menu so here if we go to the steps first step is done we created our own menus or buttons which is here we have generated the codes you can do the similar thing by going to this uh, other profile menus that are provided by me or any other person it should have the CSS code and the HTML code as I've said earlier and okay so we have created our own menus done get the codes done now we need to upload the profile menu in our Debian Dart. How we need to do that is very simple. First we'll go to our stash. Just the stash, don't worry about it. I'll just minimize it now and I'll create a new text document. I can create it uh, as test or whatever you want to name it. I'll just open it open it and write whatever lorem epsom I'll save it now and this is the first thing that you need to do to install your profile menu now you need to upload this in your stash I'll just drag and drop it in my stash here and you can see it's a stashing okay so you have uploaded a text file this is going to get converted into a profile menu pretty cool huh so uh, let me let me close this because we don't need this now you get the idea and okay I can close this also so we have uploaded this text file that we have named it as test and the content inside is lorem and sum. Now we'll go to stash writer. Here we'll go and click on edit switch to HTML mode. This is done. Now this is very important. What do you want to uh, name this uh, profile menu as? If I want to name it as circular profile menu redefine then I have to write here circular profile menu redefine if you want something else you have to uh, write something else here for example let's say example menu is going to be the title of my uh, uh, profile menu box or widget in my page here in this content the HTML content is going to be uh, inserted this is the HTML code. We have this already uh, in our page when you purchase the code or if you have downloaded some other codes for example this one you have to manually edit it. Uh, the instructions are provided inside it and you will copy this and paste it here. That's all. This is pretty easy. Now we need to install the skin. The journal skin. How we are going to do this you can do this in two ways one you can go to change uh, skin and click on no skin just to make it default and go to edit skin here you can name your skin as whatever you want let's say example skin for the sake of this tutorial and we are going to copy this CSS code this is the skin CSS area and we are going to paste it that's all now you can uh, save the skin so that you can just use it for your later uh, use let's say before saving let's let's do the preview okay the preview looks pretty good it's the same way how it's showing here however I would just like to point out a small pointer here when you put the code here the padding or the margin uh, especially vertically is going to vary from browser to browser so it might not be 100% accurate what you see here 
the the menu style that you see here might not be uh, the style will be same only the margin and the padding that is the gap between this uh, menu or inside it the height of it might vary so if that happens you just play around uh, with the size with the margin with the padding and you should be good, good to go just in case so let's save it it's done and we have our skin here as soon as I click the skin you'll see this has got changed I have reduced the uh, height of the uh, of the of the title here so that it gives you maximum uh, space uh, to be utilized when you put in your, uh, uh, in your in your page in your widget so you want to if you want to change it you have to click in the body part for the HTML content if you want to change the title you have to come here and click this part so if I uh, click and drag now you can see I can select my menu I can, I can change to whatever name I want as I've said before like this so this is done and we are going to click OK so we have our menu here looking pretty cool uh, you can't see the white borders here I don't know if you can see it or not since this background is white it's getting blended so that's that's not a big deal but uh, this is the first step which we have done and it's pretty much done now we just need to follow the next step so we have uploaded the profile menu in DeviantArt through stash we have created a new skin in DeviantArt right now as we have saved this skin as example uh, skin and now we are going to submit this profile menu for our use go to after you create this go to submit to DeviantArt here you can see it is coming as a literature file this is pretty important to have as a file to install it in your page otherwise it's not going to work uh, example menu you can change your uh, name here again if you want but the most important thing here is I need to upload it to the literature uh, section the category has to be literature very important and you can install it uh, you can you can upload it into any category here however I'm just going to go to character setting and contemporary and profile so I think it gives a little bit of understanding that it's a setting thing and it's current and profile you can just uh, check this option you you guys know about this and this is done submit now pretty easy so you have your deviation uploaded to the literature category and this is now ready to be used in your profile so we have submitted the profile menu for our use lastly use the deviation in our uh, devant art page and we'll go back to my page we'll go to edit page and we are going to navigate to the bottom widget section where we can add more widgets and we're going to select featured deviation S select uh, click on add this widget click install now it is installed in the first and at the very top but that's okay we're just going to show this as an example click done and you have this uh, blank feature deviation uh, widget now this is going to accommodate the this is going to accommodate the menu that we have just uploaded now go to edit this widget choose a deviation here example menu that you have just uploaded click it click OK it should be uh, selected by default I'm just showing you uh, for your ease of understanding 
and in description goes the widget code or the background this if you want to leave it blank you can leave it blank you'll have no background however if you want to have a background just copy this code and paste it here and save it and you have installed your profile menu in your page pretty easily right okay guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial this is a small tutorial to install uh, the profile menu or buttons in your page uh, i hope this is going to help you quite a lot if you have any questions please go to the comment section below here or you're going to find the tutorial in the tutorial section also for your use so you can you can submit your comment and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to read those so you can just click like if you like this video because it's uploaded in YouTube you can also subscribe to my channel uh, which you're going to find it when I upload the tutorial uh, in YouTube you can just go to YouTube and you'll find my uh, channel there you can subscribe to my channel also so that's about it thank you thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you have learned how to install the profile menu in your event art page now goodbye bye bye